Diary Hello, it is November 2021, and I'm delighted to show you the unboxing of the latest Microtik product to enter the house. Now, this is not the first time that I that I bought a Microtik RB4011 wireless router, but I thought I'd do an unboxing and then just uh, ramble on a bit about why it's such a fantastic device and why, if you're a networking professional or someone who wants a professional bit of kit in the home, you should seriously consider this device. So let's do the unboxing first. This is a wireless router. It is capable of networking wireless speeds well over 100 megabytes per second, which might interest everyone. Uh, we've got a safety notice telling you not to kill yourself. We've got a UK mains lead. Which you can't get out. <laughs> and a power brick. So this is this does not have just a uh, a kettle lead into the unit. You need a power brick. Now this unit is very professional. It's made out of metal with some mounting screws if you want to mount it on the wall. This unit is very professional and has no fan and is made out of solid metal because it gets extremely hot. And by extremely hot, I mean it's so hot you can hardly, you can touch it, you won't burn yourself, but it is uncomfortably hot. So we have one in our networking closet, shall we say, and that uh, in the summer months will be fan assisted with a USB fan that just blows air over the top of it. But right now it's uh, winter time and this will be located in a study which runs at about 20 something degrees so I think we're safe. Now why would you be interested in this router? Let's go through the features first. We've got one of its main selling points. It's got four antennas and it's capable of 4x4 MIMO wireless operation. Now there's a 2.4 gigahertz radio and a 5 gigahertz radio, but there is not a 6 gigahertz uh, frequency band. So in other words, this does not support Wi-Fi 6. Now this is, route has been around for at least a year, and I kind of needed something else in the uh, study, which is where a lot of development happens. And currently I've been using a HAP APC, AC3, HAP AC3 which is a kind of middling um, unit. It's got five Ethernet ports and I wanted something which was just a bit faster and faster at wireless. So ideally Microtik would have announced a Wi-Fi 6 product but to this date they have not. Uh, so this product, like I say, with this, with this uh, 4x4 MIMO or 4 chain as they call it, antenna setup means to say that you should easily be able to get 100 megabytes per second uh, of, of uh, bidirectional network traffic from one device to another. So how many of our internet connections are going to be faster than that? Well, in the UK, not many, unfortunately. So I feel pretty confident we're okay there. Let's look at the front. We've got 10 ethernet ports. They, are, they do have some hardware assist. Uh, um, and there here is an SFP plus 10 gigabit um, capacity uh, hole into which you're going to put your copper or optical 10 gigabit transceiver. So we do have fiber coming into the house, so we have another one of these into which an optical transceiver delivers um, our fiber based internet connection in. But you could connect this port, for example, to your 10 gigabit capable uh, computer system. So, for example, I have multiple 10 gigabit ports on my principal workstation, and I can connect the 10 gigabit port directly into there. Now, these ports can be set up via router OS, and that that's where we come onto the next part of the uh, discussion. So, we've, you've seen the power adapter, you've seen it's an external power brick, it's got 10 Ethernet ports. I've never got the hardware IPsec working, unfortunately, in the UK. Um, 
It does actually also have a, um, a console port here, a serial port here. It doesn't come with any cable to support that, uh, but that is a serial port and you can disable that of course. So the, the main topic of conversation is actually about router OS. So all Microtik routers run this product called router OS and it's ubiquitous across the whole range. And if you've never professionally programmed a router, this will be coming as something of a surprise to you. So there's no lovely, easy-to-use menu system which you will navigate. There's a GUI which effectively translates the, uh, the clicks that you will make into a command line and sends off that command line. So alternatively, you can open up a terminal prompt and you can just type those commands in ad hoc. It's very much like the Cisco interface. In other words, it's, it's a command line interface effectively with a GUI front end. It's very powerful, but one wrong keystroke and you can completely kibosh the whole configuration. In fact, when I make changes, what I tend to do is export the whole configuration to an ASCII file, uh, make, save that file on a separate PC, I then make the changes that I need, and if I completely and utterly screw things up, which hasn't happened for a while, uh, no, knowing more about Ruto OS, but if I completely screw something up, I have to press the reset button. In this case, that's at the front here. And then I would go into the default configuration and re-import the last known, known good configuration. Um, I'm sure other Microtik uh, network professionals would, would, uh, would smile and say, yeah, that's probably what we do as well. It's got a firewall, it's got 10 gigabit networking, it's got extremely powerful networking facilities, it's got wireless networking over 100 megabytes per second, it's got 5 gigahertz and 2.5 gigahertz networking. It's so flexible that you can actually set the output power of the antenna, you can actually tell it what frequencies, exactly what frequencies to use in the, in the 5 gigahertz range. And you can say, I want it to be 40 gigahertz or 80 gigahertz or wider. You can actually set the, set the shape of the wireless curve. Um, you can do all of these things in the wireless section. It's just amazingly complicated, but rewarding when it all works well. So that's it really, that's the unboxing. The, uh, the price of this router from Amazon is 200 pounds. Now there are two versions, there's a US version and an international version. Um, you want the international version, the US version has uh, some frequency locks, you don't want that. So even if I was in America I'd probably buy the international version, why wouldn't you? That's about it, to say it's 200 pounds from Amazon. I recommend Amazon like I say because if, you, if, if it is too much trouble to get it working with Router OS and it is a very steep learning curve, you can just return it within the uh, normal Amazon 30 day return period. So that's it, it's the uh, Microtik. Let's just go to the web page and see if I can get the, the long winded. This is the RB411 IGS plus 5 HAC Q2 HND dash IN router, which is usually known as the RB Four zero one one, the absolute best ten port uh, router and Wi-Fi access point that you'll ever get from Microtik at this at the time of uh, writing. Thanks for watching.